Hello, my friends. Welcome to our second part of PLC Programming Linear Interpolation. That is theory of linear interpolation. Let's continue. Firstly, let's learn what is the linear interpolation and how the function achieves. In the linear interpolation, the interpolation between two points close to each other along the group point of the line. Please see right graphic, and with one example. Assume in the real contour starting point, it moves a short distance in x direction. If here one pose is given, the axis moves is a fixed distance, and how long depends on the number of poses in one cycle. Then, after when it moved one pose distance, find that the terminal point is upper the real contour. Next, it needs to give one pose in y direction. That is, it moves one relative distance in y. At this time, if the terminal is also below the actual contour, continuing to move in y until it is above the real contour, then it moves a short distance again in x. So it always moves like this. Until it arrives the contour terminal point, it can be seen the actual is formed by splicing a segment of polylines, although they are polylines. Each broken line is very small that is within allowable accuracy range, so these broken lines can still be regarded as a straight line approximately, which is linear interpolation. Then, in our Z-Motion PLC programming, there are two types of interpolation commands, basic or PLC. This is one uses basic, and this one uses PLC4. Let's see them one by one. It mainly uses exe command to call basic grammar. So here the command of same basic grammar should be written. Base means exe selection. So x0 and x1 is selected. Then they do a linear interpolation together. The distance both are 100. Then switch it to PLC4. Here, k0 and k1 are behind the base command. k means constant. Set k100 for move, which means it moves 100. For more clearly, Let's compare these two form description. First one, basic. It only needs to write distance for each axis here. Then, composed speed and separate speed of each axis both will be calculated by the system. Then, in PLC, followings are operands. Many kinds are supported. Constant register. If a register is used, Please remember to save required date into register in advance. Then use move command to call date in register. If constant is used, no need to assign. Use directly. Okay, today's knowledge is not too much. Only linear interpolation theory was introduced. But next video will show an example. It can be mastered more including example operation. See you next video and thank you for your watching. Have a nice day.